Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. Now we're here today to look into LED light bulbs. These are starting to become popular and we're going to look into the frequency effects on the human body. Now we're going to use a oscilloscope to look into the frequency effects. This oscilloscope has a fast Fourier transform function and we're currently set on to 100 megahertz per division. Now the grounding connection is actually connected to a ground rod that I have in my garden which is a non-electrified ground rod it's far away from any electrical systems and to connect in to the human body I simply are going to put my finger on the tip of the probe. And as we can see we've got a wide range of frequencies have now come in on the display and the, the frequency over on the left hand side is actually the 60 hertz frequency of the main system. As we go to the right we see the harmonics showing up and they are generally the odd harmonics that we will see as we go to, over to the right but they tail off and much of the noise that you can see flickering around on the display right now is actually coming from the oscilloscope and the digital camera and also some of, some of the noises coming from the electrical cable to the light. I'm now going to reach over and switch on the light and let's see what we find. So our LED light has just come on and as we can see as we reach over to the LED light a wide range of frequencies appears on the human body and we've seen all the noise level come up and if I one of the interesting things about these LED lights is if you touch the base of them, the what appears to be aluminum base, it actually puts a whole range of extra frequencies onto the human body. And uh, it seems to be quite high. So I'm going to let go of that. We can see the frequency drop down. And I'm going to bring my hand off and we can see the frequencies drop back down to normal. So there's no doubt that those frequencies are coming from the LED light bulb. So I'm now going to change scales. I'm going to go up to a kilohertz per division. And again, do the same thing. So if we touch the light, we see those frequencies come on again. If we touch the base of the light, we see that it amplifies them so much more. So if I look over the base, they drop. And if I look over the light bulb, they drop back down. And it's a distance-related phenomenon. It couples in through the air. You don't have to be touching the light bulb for these frequencies to couple into your body. And they seem to extend out by about three feet from this particular light bulb. So I'm now going to change the scales. We're going to go up to 10, kilo, 10 kilohertz per division. And we can see that the, there's a repeating frequency down here. And some of this stuff comes from the oscilloscope. There's something to be aware of when you're doing these tests. And as we can see that when you get near the screen, it induces some frequencies onto the body. But it's very clearly when you come over here that these frequencies are actually coming from the light bulb. And if we touch the base of the light bulb, we see them jump up. So I'm going to let go of the base. And then I'm going to withdraw my hand from the light bulb. And we see the frequencies drop back down. So now I'm going to change to the next level up on the display, which is going to be 100 kilohertz per division in the horizontal direction. And we can see what we get this time. So we see even on this range, there's a wide range of frequencies coming in. And if I touch the base, those frequencies get so much higher. So there's definitely some interesting uh, things going on with this light bulb. So I'm going to go up to a megahertz per division. And we can see that most of the frequencies are close to the one to two megahertz range. And even when we hold the bulb, if I touch the base, we get a very, very wide range of frequencies appearing on the human body. And let go of the base, let go of the light bulb, and we see it all drop off. So these light bulbs are definitely putting uh, strange frequencies onto the human body and the long-term effects of this are currently unknown.
I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.